Hi everyone, it's Karen here with a mixed media canvas tutorial for scrap berries using mixed media techniques. Enjoy! I use several scrap berries products combined with many different mixed media products to create this canvas. I covered a 6x12 flat canvas with Stamperia's tissue paper and then used some soft matte gel from Prima to stick it to the canvas. Then I sealed it with the gel just so it will all stay in place. I used a ruler to rip the edges off and my intention was to have a straight line however when it ripped it ripped in a very a distressed manner and I really liked the way it looked so it added some distressed look to the page. I used different colored gelatos in gold and brown colors and some black to add some tint to the tissue paper in the background. This created an old feel to the page, a kind of a vintage look and um, a distressed look to the background. I also used a metallic bronze pigment ink from Scrap Berries to add to the vintage feel of the background. I continued adding color until I was satisfied with the look and then I heat set it. Finally, I covered the whole background with Deco Art Crackle Gel to just create even more cracks to the background and give the vintage feel to the whole canvas. Then I let it dry for a few hours. Once the gel was dry, I used some of the Scrap Berries pigment ink and some Prima's brown chalk edger to highlight the crackles on the background. For the second part of my project, I took a craft wooden heart from Scrap Berries and primed it with white gesso. Then I added a very thick coat of tacky glue using a spatula and covered the whole heart. While the glue was still wet, I added a thick layer of the white gesso on top of the glue very carefully so I would not move the glue underneath. I let it dry for a little bit and then once the top coat of the gesso was dry I started peeling it off to give it the look as if the heart was being peeled off from the inside. I used 
used Scrapberry's red pigment ink to color the heart in the inside and then used some black gelato to color the outside of the heart. However, I changed my mind and ended up using other colors after that. I realized that the ink coverage wasn't enough so I used some red acrylic paint from Dina Weekly's and some black gesso to cover those same parts of the heart. Here I'm using the black gesso to cover the bottom of the heart and then once I covered it I realized that it was the heart was too black and I didn't like it I didn't want to have a black heart in my project so I ended up changing the colors and you'll see in the next step that I ended up changing it to a brown background Although I changed the black part of the paint to brown, the black gesso helped making shadows on the heart which did stay with when I put the brown paint on. Here I am changing the everything to brown paint by using some Liquitex burnt sienna acrylic paint and I just painted the whole area of the black in brown but the, as I said the black helped to create shadows in the heart and those stayed throughout the whole um, the whole process the brown was still too dark for me so I used some antique gold and Emperor's gold color bloom from Prima to create a golden heart instead. I took some polymer resins from Scrapberry's Fairy Tale collection and I painted them with 13 Arts gold paint. the resins and a freedom metal sign from Scrapberries. Then I added some red pearls from the vintage circus collection from Scrapberries. pigment ink I added some more color to the edges of the canvas. And while the ink was still wet I used some Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Powder to create a more texture on the edges. The Distress Powder and the red ink created a very nice matching vintage look to the background. I heat set the embossing powder and the whole canvas and then I was done. Thank you so much for watching. 
you like what you see, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to see more of my work, visit my blog at karentamir.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.